So today we're gonna talk about my rescue chickens and I'm also gonna do a review on my omelet chicken coop that I use for the rescues. So just a little update, if you guys haven't watched it, I do have a video where I weigh my rescue hens. These chickens were rescued from an egg factory. They came to my house about five weeks ago. So we've had some really good improvements. The first couple weeks were really rough, but the girls are getting healthier every day. Here they are in their omelet chicken coop. They're doing really well. If you can see all those little purple lines, those are their pin feathers coming in. So if you didn't see them before, they used to look really naked. See, you can see that one's bum. And their necks were very naked, no feathers. But they're doing well, they're growing. I give them grubbly treats, which are really high in calcium and protein, and I definitely think that's helped a lot. So let's talk about the omelet chicken coop. So omelet was extremely generous by giving me this coop to help me rescue these hens, and I hope in the future I'll be able to rescue more using this same exact coop. I do plan on waiting until these ladies are 100% full feathered and hopefully gain a couple pounds because they're pretty light right now. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour, coop tour. So right now the omelet chicken coop is 9 feet long. When I first got it the coop was only 6 feet long from here to here. After I had it a while, I decided I, want to order, I wanted to order an extension. It's really easy. You just get online and they sell these three foot extensions. The whole thing is put together with these little clips. They're, they're actually very, very secure. They don't just pull apart. The nice thing is, is if you want to extend it, you can get those apart and just extend the coop. So it's not like you're stuck with what you buy. So this particular one is the igloo. It's the larger one that they have. I also have the wheels on it, which makes it really easy to move. I can move it by myself. Here's the back. If you open up this door, it has a really nice inside area. Very easy to clean. That's probably one of my favorite things about it here's it's made to be like a roost so they can sleep on this there's the tray underneath you this whole tray comes out this has a little latch like that pulls out i can dump that power wash it soap and then over here is their nesting area What's also nice is at night you can close this if you don't want them to sleep in the nesting area. But I'll just be honest, I let them sleep in here because they've had a rough life. And I've noticed they like sleeping in there, so I'm just going to let it happen. If you are just collecting eggs, you can come to this side. It's got a nice little door there. And there are your eggs you can collect. I've learned some hard lessons when it comes to biosecurity, so I really like having a plastic chicken coop because it makes it so much easier to clean. In my large chicken coop, I actually put down vinyl flooring because I wanted it to be easier to clean than wood flooring, so I really appreciate that. It gets delivered with this one shade. It's really easy to move, so I can adjust it during the day if I need to. It also came with a food and water, which they're really nice. They just lift right out like that. I can clean it out, fill it up, hang it back up. Same with the food. I was actually worried that the chickens weren't gonna like putting their head in this, but 
yeah, it's been no issue at all. And it's the same thing, it just lifts right off. And then I added this little guy for grublies. Another thing I was personally worried about when I first got it was their ramp. I was afraid like, oh, with those holes, are they gonna get in and out? It's been totally fine, not an issue at all. Um, let me see if I can show you guys how the door works. So the door has this little handle up here. Makes it really easy. Closes and it locks down so it doesn't just open on its own. You lift it up, turn. They actually just came out with an automatic door that fits this. So I am hoping to get that automatic door soon. It runs on a battery, so you don't need to have electricity. And these little doors are like French doors, which I really like because I'm keeping them locked up right now. They are not free range at all. So this allows me to open up the door, get in there, and not worry about them running by my feet. And I have a feeling it'd be nice too when I do start letting them free range, I can just open up the bottom. And this is a small detail, but sometimes it's in the small details. There are hooks on this side as well. So just like you would lock it closed, you can lock it open. And I think that's a small detail that's really important because how else are you going to keep those doors open and closed if you do free range? So I like that a lot. Another really important thing to point out about the omelet coop is this protective piece here that goes around the entire coop. And that is to protect the chickens from any animals that want to dig underneath. And look, you know, it's not just a couple inches. It's six inches wide. So, you know, an animal is going to have a hard time. They can't just get underneath. It doesn't even lift up easy. And that's nice because I live in an orchard. There could be coyotes around. I'm sure we have coyotes around. And I am not concerned about them digging in. It goes all the way around. So here, yes, those are my chicken sloggers. Thank you very much. This is how you lift up the tires. Hi, Flocka. I know. I know, you You don't understand why the people don't want to see you. Come here, Flocka. Come here. Okay, so to lift it up, all you do is step on these handles and they lock, they have a little lock and you step on this side. It locks it up and you can easily push it and pull it. Um, I push and pull from the front side. I can move it by myself, no problem. In the beginning I was having AJ help me because I didn't realize I could do it by myself. And I was even a little worried once I got the extra three foot extension and made it nine feet long. 
no problem. I put those wheels up and I, I can push it and pull it wherever I want it. I like to try to keep them in the shade because we're in summertime right now. And I also like to try to keep them on fresh grass. So it's really, really been nice. Not been a problem at all. I've had this coop a little over a month now. If you have any questions about it, please let me know if I can answer it, I will. Um, when I got the first coop, it was the igloo part and a six foot run. I think it took me about four hours to put together. And you know, I have short attention span, so I kind of wandered and would do stuff. But I think it calls for two people and I built it all by myself. Of course, it's easier if you have someone to help you, but I think AJ was at work or something and I was determined, so I got it done by myself. Just take some time, but it's not a, it's not a junky chicken coop, so it's not gonna take 30 minutes. It'll take a little time, but I promise this is so worth it. I would say eight chickens could probably fit in it really comfortably. Um, if you're free range, definitely more. I just am not letting these ladies free range right now, so I probably wouldn't go over eight. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Like I said, it is going to be a well-rounded channel. I hope, I'm hoping to show you guys farm life as well as my attempt at a homesteading life. There's gonna be a lot of things going on here, and I'm excited to get to know you guys, and I'm excited to learn about the world of YouTube. So please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you would like to help with the rescue chickens at all, I have a donate button below, and all money that is donated through there will go towards medicine, food, anything I can get for these chickens. Also, I do hope to get more in the future once these ladies are 100%. So if for some reason I got more money than I needed, it will be saved for my next batch. I really appreciate every dollar that is sent to me for these ladies. And if you guys would like to sponsor a video, please shoot me an email at beavervineyards at gmail.com. Thank you. What are you ladies up to? Huh?